Hey guys, welcome to me reacting to Game Theory, the Lost Cult of the Mi of Minecraft Illagers by the Game Theorists. Now, I reacted to his last video, and the whole theory that Ravengers are villagers is a great uh, is a great theory in my opinion. Like there are a bunch of stuff to prove it, prove it. But like the whole idea that they're trying to recreate Steve is kind of a lose. It, it's a it's not that great, honestly. That one's kind of eh. But uh, yeah. Anyways, guys, really jinx in the description. Make sure to subscribe to the game. There's like let's just get right into it now. Uh huh. Uh huh. Huh. Okay. Really? You know, these guys don't have some sort of secret language like the Endermen. In fact, I'm pretty sure they're just idiots. Okay. Hello, Internet, and welcome to a diet theory. And unlike all the other theories that have claimed what? diet theories, this time I really mean it. I am not joking around. These mini theories were originally meant to be a smaller episode exploring new fun angles on recent topics that didn't fit into the main theory. And yet every okay. time I try to write one of these things, every time they always wind up too long. Not this time, my friends. I swear, today we are not going to go past page two or like the 10 minute mark. Even though the outline for this episode is currently it at is... four pages. Curse my verbosity. Today it's I it's 12 minutes. Deep into a topic I began covering in our last Minecraft video. Yeah. In that episode, we concluded that the Illagers were exiled from the villager civilizations because they were experimenting with the powers of life and death. And we Ooh, yeah, that to here, some Ryan. extent, they've been successful, considering that evokers carry totems of undying, items that literally grant new life at the point of death. Now, they live on the yeah. outskirts of society in the woodland that was a mansions, waste, by where the way. it appears that they're continuing their experiments, converting villagers into ravagers, and using huge stockpiles of blue, light blue, and cyan wool to construct replicas of Steve. At the end but of why would they do that? that perhaps those Steve clones may have inadvertently led to the creation of the game's zombie menace. But that still left us with a lot of questions on Yeah. What's the deal with the fake end portal rooms that you can also find oh. in the open mansions? And yeah. why are there these giant replicas of cats and chickens hidden inside those buildings? I mean, those are some weird Those weren't my questions, but okay. In the last episode that I didn't actually have the chance to explain away. And then there's the issues with the vindicate themselves. Why are their eyes blue? We established last time that they're former villagers, and we know that every other villager in the game has themselves There's green, green eyes, eyes, including other illager types like the Evoker. So then, why are the Vindicator's eyes specifically blue? Again, oh, really? It probably has itself a lore-based explanation out there somewhere. And lastly, a question that I think we were all thinking at the end of the last episode, if the illagers are indeed trying to create Steve clones, is it possible that they accidentally created hero hero Ryan process who I know is an established creepypasta and is the yeah. official thing in the game but still could he have been is it possible that he's an official part of this game's lore today we're cracking open the first no. of this little three pack of diet theories no the way end portal rooms why they exist and their connection to a fascinating and incredibly tragic real life story that may tell us a lot more than we expect about the history of these minecraft villains so pull out your okay. nether wart, water and sugar my friends today we we are going swift. As I brought up in the last episode, there really? are lots of strange rooms okay. hidden throughout the Woodland Mansion hideouts, but none of them are as suspicious as the fake end portal rooms, in which the Illagers have used green and orange wool to roughly recreate the layout of an actual end portal. I mean, that's pretty darn weird. Like, there's lots of weird details in games that may or may not have themselves a greater lore importance, but in this case, to take an end game location and place it in the hands of the villains in a way that they're trying to recreate it, it's definitely the devs trying to tell us something especially when True. you consider that they were included in the game so much later than the end portals themselves like maybe if the woodland mansion came first then this would be them trying to hint at this mysterious stronghold's existence hidden somewhere out there in the world and how to use it but end portals have practically been in the game since the very beginning yeah. since version 1.0.0 whereas woodland mansions were added to the game five years later you don't put stuff like that in arbitrarily it feels like a detail that if we're 
somehow able to crack it will actually tell us a lot about the story of this game. And I, all think, right. I think I'm beginning to wrap my head around what it all means. Now, let's think through this logically. The fact that the Illagers are trying to build a portal for themselves tells us a few important details. They're trying yeah, to go the to the end? have somehow managed to see a stronghold at some point. Already True. impressive feat. And two, not only did they see a stronghold, they somehow were able to understand that it was important enough to want to try and recreate it for themselves. Now, something that I didn't get to talk too much about last time was the whole wool thing. I've already mentioned them using green and orange wool for their fake yeah. portals, and that would be interesting on its own, but that's not the only instance of unusual well, yeah. wool usage there's, inside the mansion. There's a lot of... For one, none of the beds in the, the beds. mansion are yeah. real beds. Despite real beds having existed for years before the implementation of Woodland Mansions, instead of crafted beds, Illagers attempt to recreate what a bed looks like by using white wool and various colors of carpet. Talk about itchy and like zero back support. It's no wonder the Illagers are always so cranky. Illagers also have mm. themselves map rooms, which once again, don't use crafted maps, but use carpet on a table to create the illusion of a map. All of this reeks of a real world practice called cargo culting. You see, cargo cults are an absolutely fascinating phenomenon that actually what? happened in the aftermath of World War II. Imagine this. You live on a tiny remote island in the middle of the ocean. Okay. With just your fellow tribesmen, completely secluded from the rest of the world. And then all of a sudden, giant metal birds appear out of the sky, making loud roaring noises. The birds come to a stop on your island and out of them step humans. People that look like you, but different. Different skin tones, different hair colors. And they come bringing things that you never could have imagined. Pills that save lives, clothes in bright colors and new materials, food in metal containers, objects that can take down the fiercest warriors with just the push of a button, machines that travel fast and never get tired. Sometimes they bring all these things and they're flying birds. Sometimes these things just fall onto the island. While they're there, these visitors take time to build things. They clear long strips of land where their birds come and go. They put up these tall towers where they can be closer to the heavens and where they talk to themselves all day while wearing these strange ear coverings. They erect tents and shelters where they live. And then after a year or two of these visitors what? coming and going, suddenly the birds stop landing. Everything that came with them goes away. They were like gods and you, not fully understanding what brought them there in the first place, try everything to get them to come back. This is exactly what happened to the small populations of indigenous people on the Melanesian islands of the South Pacific during World War II. Islands like Vanuatu, Fiji, New Guinea, and the Solomon Islands. Here they were, societies completely removed from the rest of the world, existing in their own self-contained bubbles when all of a sudden, Japanese troops land on the island with ships and planes, carrying guns and medicines and supplies for oh. the Suddenly you're aware of an entire world out there. A world no. that is so far beyond where your civilization currently is. And then these people start building things like airstrips and control towers for their planes. They start airdropping supplies onto the island, causing crates of cargo to literally rain down from the heavens. Later on in the war, it would be allied forces using these islands, bringing even more visitors and even more technology. But when the war ended and the troops suddenly stopped coming and the yeah. airdrops stopped happening, some of the villagers were rightly left confused as to why it had all ended. Some claim the reasoning was that nobody was running the airports anymore, and they started cults dedicated to rituals that involved lighting up the runways, waving signal cones around. They started to imitate the practices that they had seen the soldiers using. They carved headphones from wood and wore them in fake control towers that they built. They started to mimic the marching parades and the training drills that they had watched these visitors perform. They Wait. used rifles that had been left behind, or when they ran out of those, they started carving new ones from local wood. They built life-sized replicas of airplanes and cut more runways into the jungles of the island just hoping to attract more planes. I mean, these were places and practices that seemed so important to the visitors when they were on the island, so maybe doing them again would summon them back. It's a wild story, right? Whoa! Like when you think about it, it's pretty That's insane! Too. These people were under yeah. under the idea of, if you build it, they will come, but they never came again. Now, we obviously know that simply operating the ground section of an airport isn't going to magically summon supply drops, but to these islanders, how could they have thought any differently? Gods suddenly arrive from the heavens and then leave. And so you, not properly understanding the cause and effect of the whole thing, try to recreate the things that those visitors cared about. And thus the term cargo cult was born. Meaning a group of yeah. people who perform rituals without fully understanding the real mechanisms that work behind them. Now, the reason I tell you this story okay. is that, I mean, that is exactly what we're seeing with the Illagers. Yeah, they, they don't understand. They build a bed and they try to recreate 
recreate it using a bunch of wool. They don't understand it, the yeah. Point and about three wooden planks. It's just like the Islanders sitting in fake radio towers with wooden headphones. On the surface, they look the same. It is parallel, but in reality, they're completely... So they don't understand, it's just like how they don't understand an end portal. Maps. And it's especially true of their fake end portal. End portal. Anyone who's yeah. actually been to the end knows that you need to insert Eyes of Ender into the end portal. But they don't know that. And that the presence of the lava doesn't really matter at all. But the Illagers, though, they seem convinced that all that was really important in that stronghold was the color, the number, and the arrangement of the blocks. This is especially true yeah. if they have access to lava in other rooms of the mansion, but they don't choose to use it in their recreation of the end portals. I mean, even the giant cat and chicken rooms in the Woodland Mansions seem tied to the cargo cult story. Just like the villagers of Melanesia built replicas to the giant metal birds that came onto their island, the airplanes, so too are the Illagers building replicas of these animals, I guess. I, I don't really know. Yeah, why are they there? The theory that to recreate a portal room, the Illagers had to have first seen a stronghold and secondly had to understand that it was somehow important. What I think all of this is telling us is that they must have seen an active end portal. It most likely indicates I don't think so. go into, or more accurately, come out of that end portal. I think that this may be our strongest evidence yet that the ancient race of builders that we've been talking about throughout all of the uh, theories, the one that built the ancient temples well, and the shafts of the overworld, that maybe they originated well, on the other side um, of one of those portals. Hmm. They pop on through into the villager and illager world and bring with them the ability to create sophisticated objects like beds and maps, knowledge of how to both mine and craft. But then they leave for some reason, and when they left, there were those who remained that didn't quite get it, and are doing whatever they can to bring them back. Again, I'm not sure, but consider the parallels to the cargo cults. Visitors arrive from True. another world, they bring with them technology and knowledge that allows them to make magical things, and when they leave, the villagers then mimic their actions. Like I said, I don't know if that's really what's going on here, but to me, I don't think it is the best explanation I have right now for all those random rooms and objects in the Woodland Mansions. Next time we crack into a diet theory, yeah. Indicators, yeah. Hero Brine, and the truth behind their eyes. Oh, that's next time. All right. So honestly, what I think of this theory is that it's not really that great. Because again, it continues on a theory that I think wasn't really that great either. Because the thing is, is that like the yeah, it doesn't really make sense. I mean, I guess if you really do think about it, apply it with this theory, it does kind of make sense that they're trying to recreate the humans that, like, brought them this stuff so that way they can get it, like, actually. So maybe that is another good evidence. Honestly, I feel like he should have brought that up, that, that you know, that, like, that, that is a big reason why they're trying to cre recreate Steve is because he has those abilities, but they don't. So he they're tr they're trying to make... New Steve, so that way they can obtain these new objects and abilities, like a these actual things. So maybe that's the reason. I don't think there's one thing I don't agree with is I don't think they saw an active end portal because the thing is, is that why would they? Because yeah, if they saw it, because the thing is that an active end portal co uh, covers the lava, like the whole black smoke covers the lava. So why would they? put the lava, the detail of the lava under it, because it doesn't really make sense to me. Also, he didn't really explain why the cat and the chicken were there. He kind of was just, he kind of, like, show like, said it, like, oh, maybe that's the reason, but then never really brought, like, he sort of said, like, oh, yeah, that's why there's these animals here, but he's kind of, like, at the same time saying that he doesn't really know, because, yeah, honestly, the, they, why would they build animal replicas if they don't, you know, yeah, if they, like, they, why would they want cats to come? Why would they want chickens to come? Like, it doesn't really make any sense. Like, it doesn't really make sense to me, honestly. This theory wasn't really that great because it didn't really answer that much. Like, I mean, I'm guessing the next episode is probably going to uh, answer more stuff. But, again, it, it didn't really seem like it answered that much, honestly. Sort of like the last theory I said, like, it will completely change Minecraft. Like, it didn't at all. Honestly, it, it still didn't. I'm like, oh, okay, that's fine. This isn't freaking terrifying, I guess. But, uh, yeah, anyways, guys, so enjoy the like, and just come and channel. See you next one. Bye! Yeah.